climb these mats to look at the electrical side of the system, uh, changing lamps, looking after the telephones on the mast. Um, today is rather a nice day, but of course we do have to climb some downs in rather poor weather. Um, now, passing my safety harness onto the mast so I can use both hands. I shan't have to hold onto the structure now while I change the lamp. And here goes. A lot of people consider my job dangerous. I know this much. I'd much rather be a thousand foot up in the air than a thousand foot below ground. I think a miner's job is far more dangerous than mine. So, to get better pictures to more people, and to help Mike Kinder and his colleagues with easier maintenance, the IBA decided to build a concrete tower. Holes were bored 200 feet deep to make sure the soil could carry 14,000 tons of steel and concrete. In the autumn of 1969, the foundations were laid, and from the autumn to the spring, the concrete tower went up. 20 weeks, 600 feet. It's easy when you know how. When it's risen above the foundations, you build a platform to work on and hang it inside the tower. Then, like a latter-day Mrs. Beaton, you make a mould. Make the outside first, wooden shutters cut to shape. An inch tape comes in handy to make sure it's the right size. And delicate final adjustments may have to be made. Six hundred feet up, it's as well to be sure the tower's going up straight, too. They had problems with that at Pisa. Like home cooking, grease inside the mould, and then put in the vertical steel rods to give the reinforced concrete its strength. Oddly enough, working up here, there's little sensation of height, but a bit of safety netting is consoling just the same. There are steel rods going up. Now you need some going round. Weave them in and out and wire them all together. Now build the inside mould just like the outside. The concrete walls are nearly two feet thick at the base, but only nine inches at the top. So put wedges in to keep the inner and outer moulds the right distance apart. Then lock all the shutters together. Meanwhile, take the right proportions of cement, sand, aggregate and water and mix to a smooth paste. Do this on the ground, while the men up top are checking everything yet again, even to taking a stroll outside. is now too big. The whole tower tapers. It's 80 feet across at the base and only 20 feet at the top. So build a bit more lift shaft and cut the platform down to size. Now bring the smooth paste to the mould. 
It comes by the truckload. Haul it slowly up the tower. Carefully into the mould. Vibrate it to make sure it goes everywhere and there are no air bubbles. And that's that layer finished. Leave to set overnight. Then haul the platform up and do it again and again and again and in time it's 900 feet high. In the darkness of the base, a lattice structure was built for the aerials. 57 tons of steel girders bolted together to make a spike 180 feet high. Then lift it through the 900 feet tower. Decorate the taste with fiberglass panels to keep the weather out and the riggers in, and you're 1100 feet near enough above where you started. 